Every weekday, over 2,000 students start their day right here at the Lakeland Senior High School campus. They are all under the watchful eye of School Resource Officer Rosalind Henderson, a 16-year veteran with the Lakeland Police Department. Recently, I spent some time with Officer Henderson to find out what it takes to be a School Resource Officer at one of Polk County's largest high schools. I get here at 6.30. At 6.30, 6.35, somewhere around that, and I get on my golf cart, and then we have, we have 1,900, I think like 2,000 students here, and they're all here. So at about a quarter to seven, all 2,000 kids are out on campus just standing around. So we are ride around the golf cart or our walk to see what's going on, make sure nobody's smoking, doing drugs, fighting, arguing. So we walk around and, and mingle, intermingle with them, and, and then the bell rings, and then try to get them to class on time which is a task. Most of them get to class on time, but some of them you have to herd on or along the way because they want to talk to you, which is good because they have a relationship with you. They want to talk, they want to ask you questions and tell you about their day. So and then basically if something happens in the classroom or there's a fight or if there's a disruption, a problem, then I just go to the classroom, remove the child out of the classroom along with the dean. Now most of the, Lakeland has a really good system. So a lot of stuff I really don't have to get involved in unless it, requires police work, which is very rare because they take care of things in-house, unless it's really, okay, there's, a, there's drugs, there's a fight, there's a weapon, then I get involved in the type of stuff like that. So we just basically I just work hand-in-hand -hand with the dean. So wherever they go, I go. We, we act as counselors to kids, a lot of kids, because a lot of kids are in crisis. This is a big time in their lives and everything's a crisis. So we work, that, we work as counselors. Um, we do arrests, you know, we do drug investigations, we do assault investigations, we do bullying, stalking, you name it. We have everything that's on the street, we have it here at the high school campus. Some kids, they want to feel safe, you know, so when they come here, they like, they can wander around the campus, they can just come to school and say, okay, I know if something happens here, somebody's here to help me. Officer Henderson believes in using positive relationships with the students to get the job done. You have to have a good relationship with them. You have to just, just that's, that's even more important than this uniform and the gun and all that stuff, having a relationship. I mean, sometimes I feel like I don't even need this gun and badge because now they know you and they feel comfortable with you. I can be your friend, but I'm not your friend. Because like your mom, your parents say, you know, I'm not your friend, I'm your parent. And you have to let them understand, okay, well, I can laugh and joke with you today and have a really good relationship to you and with you and give you money for the vending machine or let you use my computer to print out your homework. I can do that. But the minute you cross that line now, I have to change hats. Now I have to change hats. Now I have to, now you're going to make me do my job. And I'd like to tell them that. Don't make me do my job. Okay. Last year, Henderson and her students kept crime to an absolute minimum through these relationships. She credits this success to recognizing students' accomplishments. With, with close to 2,000 students, with 70 physical, technical arrests, actually about 35 physical arrests, that's pretty good. That's less than a half a percent, you know, of, of incidents on the school campus and for a campus this size. That's saying a lot for the students and the staff. So I just want, you know, you have to tell the kids, thank you, and you got to uh, let them be proud of something. I mean, they have, they got, they're the only there was only two schools in the county that got a B, and they want to be proud of that. So the kids now even, oh, we're going to get an A. We're going to be the only school in the county that gets an A. And the staff, the principal, nobody has to tell them that. They just want to do that because they want to see their school in the paper. They want to see, you know, the statistics and say we're better than everybody else. And then I have a board in my office there. When kids do something good or the end of the day, they're in the paper or something, I always put them on my board. So like, they like to come into your office and see that there are pictures on your wall and different things like that. So these are kids. And we were kids too. And we're gonna do, they're going to do things that kids do. They're going to make kid mistakes. And I try to explain to them, don't make life-changing mistakes. Okay, you're going to try to skip school because we probably try to do it. We're probably going to, you know, not wash the dishes at home. We're probably going to roll your eyes at the teacher. Those are things that kids do. Don't make life-changing mistakes, but we understand that your kids are your human too. Just under explaining them how to express themselves without destroying themselves. It might sound like an overwhelming assignment, but Officer Henderson takes it all in stride. I really like being a school resource officer because it, I have children of my own. I have a 19-year-old son who's you know, out of school, and I think this really prepared me <laughs> for being a 
parent of a teenager or being a parent of a teenager helped me do this job. You know, so now I understand the music, you know, the slang, and you know, because if I didn't have a teenage son, I wouldn't know what they were talking about. Um, I, I like it because I enjoy getting up in the morning. You know, sometimes people say, I just really hate my job. I like my job. I love it. I love it. I get here, the kids keeps you going, keeps you young, keeps you informed, and you know, it's fun. It's just, before I know it, it's, it's three o'clock, it's time to go home.